there. Why so mopey, Dopey? I'm a loser, Phil. I lost. Harry Berman, attorney at law. The greatest TV show that it was ever on, but you'd have to get Stephen Colbert to come back in to do it. <clears throat> TV's on the floor. Let's fix that. Damn it. God damn it. Hold on, wait. There's a thing. Adorable. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. I actually bought this one because it's an Ankron, which sounds like it's trying to be a real brand. I had excellent reviews, and it's got a bigger amount of legs. So this is the TS2771 Black. Chewbacca in five, four, three, two, one. Launch. There's my cat. There, there's your blanket. Bath towels, free bath towel, free bath towel. I'm not gonna look at you. I'm saving you the embarrassment by not looking at you. Oh, this one has screws and bolts. Anyway, so this is a TV rack that I plan to disguise the bottom of it with like a nice piece of furniture so that the TV that's over there, currently on the floor, can sit under the steps and be like the general, like I'm in the kitchen, mostly in the kitchen here, but when it's time to like, I wanna watch something and maybe be in here, not there, or there I could roll it over there. And maybe if there's guests in a party, I don't want to block the doors. I could roll it in front of the fireplace. But if the fireplace is on, I could just roll it like here. And then everyone could just like fucking sit here. And then I could roll it all the way around behind the stove. When movie night, when I was cooking movie night, I'm using the reflection in that glass door to watch movies. It's terrifying. It's terrifyingly bad. Or I brought the laptop out. It was, that was also terrifying. <laughs> she, that's her house now. She just lives there. So here are the equipment shelves, and I'm probably gonna do, if I haven't explained this to you already, I have a UPS, which doesn't work currently, that's gonna power the TV that I'm gonna have on the unit so that I'll be able to unplug it and roll it while the TV's not turning off, and then it's gonna have a laptop on the, the rack so that I could just have the source playing constantly because it's a laptop, and that's got a built-in battery support. So, and then I'm gonna have speakers, obviously not the TV speakers, they suck. I'm gonna have like a set of nice speakers on the rack, on the, the furniture, so I could, I'm gonna have this thing that extends that I'm gonna cut the ends off of so that I could I could extend the, the cord to the wall, but I have to reverse it because this is the wrong side on the wrong side. So once I do that and have a UPS and then have a laptop and then I have it on this, and then I'm gonna make it so that I could rotate the screen. Did you know that? that I'm gonna have this so the screen could lift and rotate and be vertical so I could have my playlist like fully readable. And then I want to have to adjust this so it doesn't like have a lock. It has to have like, like pressure lifts, but it has to be just right so that the TV weighs it down and then I can lift it up and then rotate it. But it doesn't have a rotating thing. So I gotta add a rotate. I'm exhausted. These look important. This looks like garbage. That's important. Chewbacca, I'm gonna use your house as garbage. Okay, baby. Thank you. Oh Jesus Christ, so many fucking, so much metal. Is she gonna be pissed? Here. There. That's your half. Nothing of that, that's gonna fall down. I got a garbage. Oh, oh, that's a beaten stick. Wait. Oh, this has got wheels. Wait, why are these wrapped? How? Oh God, I have glass. What the fuck am I looking at here? Oh, that was weird. We're practicing to kill flies. We have to get our training fucking regimens up. Those fuckers are smart and aggressive. Kill. She's slow. So here's the legs. Nice rubber feet though. They won't damage the floor. Even though this floor is not damageable, but that floor is damageable. 
Many bearings, wow. Listen. Okay. Well, that's lightweight. I think this one was also aluminum, the other ones were steel, so this is probably gonna be a little bit lighter. That's, they're really good in the wheels. I'm glad, I was gonna have to change the wheels out, I thought. Fuck, oh, oh, fucking box. Oh, God, no. All right, so we've got A through H, then one that's not in the labels, and then we've got A through E, one, Ow, that was loud as fuck. More garbage. This was like $220? Or was that the heater? This might have been $250. All I know is it's gonna make life, it's gonna make my TV baller until I wrap it in furniture. You fucking cunt, get off of there. Okay, so. Those are really nice wheels. This is gonna roll away. If my floor isn't level, it's just gonna roll away. Okay. That looks pretty standard. Although this all has to be changed out for the final like build where I make it so it can rotate so that I can rotate it. So I'm pretty insistent on making that rotate. Unless I get lazy, then I won't rotate. But I kind of want to not be lazy. Wow, that's... Look at one of those. That's light as shit. I was about not to be like a tank. Like a, like a, a big burly German tank. Or a woman that was named... Tank. Oh god, the shocks. Oh god, what did that just do? Why is this like this? Who builds things like this? Oh, that's not light. That's, that's, a, that's a heavy main piece. That's, that's a big... One. What, ow. You see that I'd have to replace with the thing that just holds it up so I can adjust the height without, oh, making that sound, oh. Well, you don't have to make oh God, I hit the light, I'm hitting the light. Fuck. The fucking styrofoam is breaking. I hate styrofoam, I hate white styrofoam. Fuck off. One star review on Amazon because the styrofoam was horseshit. Damn, boy. That is, a, that, is a, that is thick and tall. Tall and thick. Okay. That's plastic. I'm a professional unboxer. I don't know if you know this. Like, no one unboxes like I unbox. I mean, just because I have so few, oh my God. The static electricity that's coming off of this is making my hair like. That's wild, that's wild. Anything else in this box or can I throw it the fuck out of my house? I fucking hate white styrofoam, I fucking hate it. They can eat shit. Fuck off. I hate white styrofoam. It's getting little shits everywhere. I can see, look. What? That's all over there too. I don't give a shit. <sighs> this is why I still have cleaning ladies that come to keep me from killing someone. All right. It's 11.07. Um, my good friend here is going to help me. He's a house guest, but he's got to pay his way. So let's do this. Ready? 11.07, 11.08. All right, so now I have to stop Harvey Birdman again because it's time to take the TV and put it on this, oh my God. Which is not set to its highest or lowest setting, but it rolls really well. I don't like to, right, what do we have to do? We fucked up because there's holes on the inside of this and we had them on the outside so we couldn't mount the shelves, but the shelves are stupid. Number one, I mounted them upside down because they're supposed to be mounted with this fucking lip up, and that's dumb. So they're now this way, but they're really like, they're really flimsy shelves. Like I, I would absolutely 100% tell you to modify everything. We also added extra thick washers to the bottom 
course, they like include these little tiny washers that will like pull through the base. But the whole thing weighs like 35 pounds, maybe 30 pounds. So it's not super heavy. But now we have uh, <laughs> the TV. So burb. Oh, by the way, it's 11:43. So what? 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 Go ahead. Oh. Uh, other than the Sony having a fucking attached power cord that blows my mind in 2020, that's a thing. Um, here's the thing we found. We set the bracket at the lowest pot at the, yeah. We put the brackets as high as possible to make the TV as low as possible because there's no point in making it fucking higher. And then we mounted it and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six holes showing and here's the shelf. So really the shelf, that, I basically have to eliminate a shelf I want this to be lower. It's not bad, but it's definitely not viewing height where I would be happy. Yeah, we gotta take that shelf out. In fact, I'm gonna take the shelf out on camera because I don't give a shit. How many shits do I give? At least four. So the problem also is they don't give you enough holes to mount the shelves down here. I wish it was a shelf in the bottom. So there isn't, so now I'm forced to like get in here and smash the camera against the shelf. There's one screw. <sighs> There's two screws, so now that can come out. That can come out. That can come out! And then these stupid brackets come out. So now I have like only one shelf. Actually, you think we're gonna hit... Let's do it again, let's lower it again. <sighs> yeah, this thing's gonna need to be... Like, it, it, it'll go up high, like it'll go up real high. But we're not trying to go real high, we're trying to go like... Yeah, one more. Oh, we're actually sitting, are we bending the shelf? No, it's, that's, it's the shelf, it's like just, yeah, yeah. just above it. So you basically, that's a shelf at the lowest possible position. Yeah, fill If we would have put this up higher, we would have more shelf, and then the TV wouldn't go as low, and that's stupid. So now my TV, which I will be taking this plastic off, can glide effortlessly out the door and down the hill. <laughs> So now, this is, all the sound the wheels make. So now, and that's what annoy me that the wheels are not pointing perfectly, so I'm gonna have to get down on my hands and knees and adjust them. So now that looks like a TV. That shelf crooked. That shelf's crooked as fuck, you see it? That's not us. The TV's level. That TV's perfect. The shelf is crooked as fuck. Anyway, I think it's worth, it's all aluminum, weighs nothing. It, the wheels are super nice. Um, I'm gonna put some sort of air assist on this. I'm gonna remove these locks entirely. The goal is remove the locks entirely, disable them, put air assists that like, like the trunk lifters in a car, specifically to, in this series, 44 pounds. If I got two 20 pounders, that should allow four pounds of push down. So I could just, it'll just drop and then I could lift it up with four pounds of effort. And then I'm gonna re re replace this plastic, because this is all plastic, this thing, with a piece of metal. And then I'll put the rotator on there because it should be able to rotate pretty much centered. And then I can lift the TV up effortlessly from the front. It'll go whoop, turn it, drop it back down. And it'll just rest on either a shelf or I'll put stops in. And then I could have like, Vertical anime waifus or playlists or web pages or just say fucking this is good enough and you'll see you in six years and it'll just be the exact same thing because I'm lazy at some point. I'm real energetic and then I'm real lazy. But thank you Ankron for existing um, and I paid you money and now I have a big floaty TV which I'm pretty sure you'd want to push always like this and never from the front to back. So but here let's, can I walk this through my gallery? And there's artwork in my gallery and cat food, but all my head, oh God, there's a Lego truck. I crashed into the Lego truck. This is awesome. And I really don't want to touch the screen of the TV or anything. So like if I wanted to go here, now the only problem with this is I can't one-handed lift this up because it's, I mean, I guess I could just push it back further. I'm going to work on this more. This is going to be a project. This is going to be a mad science hour is making this thing like easy adjustable 
or electronically adjustable. Echo, set TV height 52 inches. TV doesn't support that. Not yet, baby. Not yet. All right, all right, all right, all right. So there's a shelf, and it's like, this is the lowest possible shelf, but it's just a slot. You can put the shelves backwards on the slot. I can have the shelves sticking out back here, have the TV even lower. Actually, no, the TV's as low as it goes. But I could have the, I could shelves here. Like, shelves could be fucking here, so I don't need to see things. Why even have the shelf in the front? Let's put it up as high as it goes, just to show them what it looks like. No? You can't say no. I remember it won't lift out. We, th we thought it was going to pop out. It won't pop out. All right. You ready? Yeah. You definitely need two people for this. I think that's it. I'm six foot. That's like a six foot, and that's at the lowest possible mount for the TV. That's a TV at the lowest possible bat. If I wanted to push this TV up, no way, the T. Yes, these are as yeah. high on the TV. As they these are as high on the TV go. We could have made the TV go up another like six inches, and then, then yeah. But this is bad TV height. Down there is good TV height, but now we can get to the shelves a lot easier, so. Jeez, fuck. All right, so TV is currently running. We've reversed the shelves and made them real close together. And I could actually do this to support it a little better. But laptop on the top shelf, upside down from where they say. UPS on the bottom shelf, right side up. So that this, which is not plugged in, is currently powering the TV, which has the laptop, which is showing me prime experiences. And then if I go to inputs and I go to HDMI 3 arc, we should get the laptop to come through here. Yes, it's not in 4K because I haven't adjusted it, but this is a completely, 4K it's completely, oh, there it goes, it's done. My UPS is fucking broken as shit. So, but that's the basic gist of what I'm gonna plan to do is a working a UPS that doesn't die immediately. And then just, this way I can just unplug it and float it around. And then once I put the TV back to a good position, what are you doing in my chair? Once I put the TV back to a good position, you won't see any of that back there. And then I just have the flare stick out the bottom and a remote control keyboard and mouse and I can roll it around and put a nice piece of furniture so that pasta doesn't go ugly. Boom, I could either build it here or something, it'll just look fitting. I'm happy. Oh, and then they plug that extends.